Good morning, everybody. Again, a happy new year, and this is one of our training videos. Today, we're doing an RBM 2538, and we're doing a panel whereabouts we have a straight bit, then we go on an arch, then we go straight again, another arch, and then straight down again. Very common that we get this big U shape happening. To do this, you have to mark out the sheets. And the question comes again and again, where am I getting those values from? How do I end up at 210? Why do I need 600 millimeter to wind in the panel? Then naturally, of course, you have to work out the amount of radius, in this case, the distance in order to get a 90 degree section and so on it goes. So here we have it. The first thing which is pretty obvious is from the center of this shaft to the center of that roll, that distance is 210 millimeter. So therefore, this will be always be flat, will never be arched. And this line here, the 210 line, is my goal position to start winding. Now the people ask me, how do I end up at 600 millimeter winding in? Where do I get this from? Well, when you start winding it in with this handle, there is only so much speed you can give it until you would go too quick so all what you have to do is you make your first sample part and you just wind it at a speed where you don't oil can the panel and then once you finish winding and you have reached your position to reach the radius you want to get then you measure afterwards what was that distance what was required to get to that position with that radius and there you have it, there is the 600, more to follow. Here we are again, here is part two of the exercise on this RBM 2538. It is a little bit tricky, but once you have written it down and you do it, you will, you will see it's very easy. So, as you have seen it earlier, when we have the sheet in, we have a distance of 210 millimeter from what I call the form rollers. Yeah and we have the center of the pressure roll. So when I'm at this point, I start up the machine and straight away, I start in my winding process of getting the radius shaped. So I go and wind the handle here in and by the time the panel has reached this mark, I must have achieved my full shape of the radius. Then I let the machine run the distance of the radius until we come to this and I have written it down here, pressure roll wind out. So when this line comes, this is my commando to go 300 millimeter over the distance of 300 to wind out the radius so that I get a flat sheet. Yeah. Then I be here and I have that all the way out. Then we run the flat section of the panel no forming so and here comes now the trick the one and only point that is important if i was to start winding in the next radius here where i have set distance of the 800 flat i gonna have a problem because on the first one i had an extra 210 millimeter which was already flat remember this so here is however the point where i want to start my next radius that means I do not start the radius here, putting pressure on. I wait until this line has passed this roll so that I, from this point onwards, start to wind in the radius, which is what I did on the first radius. And it means technically, even if I have written down here 600, I have to subtract the 210 because I technically have 400 and something rather than, you know, that, that other measurement. Yeah? And if I want to be really accurate on the first one, we also should do the same thing. But when we did the very first one, the reason why it's longer there is, so I got a little bit more a straight section I can cut off afterwards. But let's say hypothetically, I, was, I would make a piece with three radiuses. Then I have to adhere to this process to always have the same distance for generating the radius in the first place. And let's do that in practice and see what comes out of it. Thank you. Okay, now we do the extra job. I have centered my mark into the center of the pressure roll and I have the beginning of the sheet lined up with the form roll. Then I'm putting a little bit of 
bios on just a little bit of pressure to be ready to wind in the sheet so the moment i start you will see me straight away winding in to shape the radius and i have to have the chief this here when this line here the 810 is passing the pressure rule and then it goes on as previously explained so let's do this so you see i'm straight away winding it in i don't hesitate I have my radius a little bit earlier, but as said, we chop off the rest of the piece and then we're gonna be happy. So here comes the first 800 radius. Remember when this passes the pressure roll, I have to be ready for winding myself out. So here over the 300 millimeter, I get rid of the pressure, so I'm clear. Bang, there I am, I'm clear. Then I wait until the form roll, this one here now has to be at that point. Make sense? So I don't wind it in at the pressure roll. I wind it in at the form roll. When it comes to the form roll now, now I'm winding in. I was a fraction too slow, but that's what happens. I'll be better on the next part. Here we shape the radius again. And then again, comes to the pressure roll, out I go. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Thank you for your attention.